What's up guys, it's been five months since I've owned this Red Cat Rampage XR Rally. This actually is the most popular video on my channel. Almost 180,000 views, number one. So thanks so much for watching, I know you guys are interested in this. Now the only thing I haven't done so far is a speed test and that's what we're gonna do in this video. I'm wearing a cool guy backwards hat because man, I'm expecting this to look cool in some of the shots. We don't know, I know it looks cool on the table. Red Cat did an incredible job on just the body alone look at how good looking this is I mean I kind of hate the Ford Fiesta myself but man if Red Cat made a real car in real life I don't know maybe this thing will be cool we're also gonna take a look at the new remote control car action magazine I just got this in the mail the other day and there's two items of interest in here guys the primal MT is in here you know that at the end of this month I'm gonna be on my way to primal RC headquarters and I'm gonna pick that bad boy up stick it in my Prius see if I could do pull-ups with it which I don't know 80 pounds is a lot guys even this cool backwards hat is not probably gonna help me with that another cool thing in this issue I never thought I would actually see is the Red Cat Rampage MT is in here so Red Cat as a brand finally made it to the tracks is dominated remote control car action magazine I honestly am very surprised the Red Cat Racing Rampage is usually nowhere to be found here but I think making gas and nitro great again especially on my channel is making sure that remote control car action magazine takes a really good look at these RC's because guys they're not bad let me show you guys the chassis setup as we're gonna be doing the testing in the front I have my RPM gauge this thing is extremely accurate I'll show you exactly the RPM of the engine at idle just so we know that it's calibrated correctly I've used it before on my Roven and it showed about 17,000 and a half RPM somewhere around there so I already know the baseline for the Roven engines Okay guys, let's examine the top RPM that I got on the speed run. Let's see what it is. I'm sure it's gonna be terrible. Only 13,000 RPM. I only got a max RPM of about 13.3 thousand on this one. Pretty terrible. Top speed, only 26 miles per hour. Now keep in mind, this thing is extremely rich. Although I gotta say, with a rich tune, my Roven Baja clone did about 16 and a half thousand RPM. So this is about 3,000 RPM too short. But honestly, based on my uh, you know top speed calculations of 250 RPM equaling one mile per hour, there's still a lot of juice left in this bad boy. Flipping the gears is really simple. All you do is just remove these two nuts on the outside of the shafts. The gears literally just slide off of the shaft and you basically just flip them. What that does is create a slightly taller gear ratio and hopefully that will give us a couple more extra miles an hour. Overall, very easy to do. Okay guys, I swapped these A and B gears. This might give me some more top speed. Other than that, I'm gonna have to get a completely different gear set. So let's see if I can get a couple more miles per hour out of this. Just came back from the run with the new gears. Let's see what we got first. Let's check the RPM. It was really low before. I'm sure, it'll still be low. Yep, it's still really low. 13,320. But this time we got 29 miles an hour. So it looks like just a simple gear change is about two miles an hour. So I guess that means I have to get the really large gears from the Red Cat MT. Why did the turkey cross the road? Wanted to drive the Red Cat, of course. 
Okay, my hat is now in its normal operating position. The reason is I don't think I feel as cool anymore after I got some of the speed testing results on this. Now, I will say that it handles extremely well. I really like the four wheel drive. I really like the fact that there is no center diff. I really like the chassis handling dynamics and the suspension itself. Perfect, also design is extremely perfect. The only area where this thing is really lacking is the engine. Um, you saw those two speed runs, one where I flipped the gears, the second one and the first one. So the engine RPM barely peaked 13,000 RPM. Now based on my calculations, every 250 RPM should be one mile an hour. So I'm basically missing about 3,000 RPM. That means I have 12 extra miles per hour to really be gained in here. So theoretically, this actually should be the same speed as my 30cc Roven Gas Baja. Um, these things just do not give the RPM. Now, it's possible that the pipe that's included in here, I'm gonna show you guys an image inside. There's actually a baffle inside this pipe. This is not a straight flow through type exhaust, which you would expect just like the Rovens come with. I'm gonna stick this boroscope right inside the exhaust pipe. Let's see how far it actually goes in and what we can tell inside. So there it is, it looks like a baffle. It's not particularly rusty, that's just some oil on top. Now, notice how long this thing actually is. Let's see if I can make it all the way inside. There we go, it is basically stuck right now. So the entire exhaust opening is basically a little bit shorter than the length of this boroscope, which I would say is about an inch and a half. If I put this right next to each other, you could tell that there's still a lot of space left on this pipe. So there's some kind of baffle system going on inside this pipe. It is not an open exhaust like the Roven style system is. Also, let's take a look inside the spark plug hole. I haven't checked inside. I ran about a gallon and a half of fuel through the system. So it's interesting to see if there's any carbon buildup from the oil I've been using. There we go. Looks really clean in there. I don't see any dirt, any kind of scoring on the cylinders. The ports are clean. In the back right here, we have our large exhaust port. Right over here, that's our exhaust port. This looks like a little drop of oil, but otherwise, it looks really clean. I mean, I'm very happy with the oil I've been running. Been using the Klotz Super Technic plate. Look at that, spotless, man, really nice in there. Here is the plug itself. You could tell that, yes, it's a little bit rich. There's a little bit of a dark color on top of the actual electrode there, but that's okay. You saw all the exhaust coming out of it. The motor is really solid. It's clean. It starts up perfectly fine. Yeah, I should probably lean out the fuel mixture in the future. I'm still running 25 to 1. I have heard people saying that when they get a Jet Pro for one of these, and Jet Pro makes a really good, unique pipe just for this body style that has a really nice looking dual exhaust setup to mimic the included factory uh, pieces right over here. But it's extremely expensive. That might be a possible upgrade, but I am honestly contemplating right now whether I should just get a basic Roven engine and stick this thing in there. You know, for 150 bucks, you can get yourself a nice Roven 30cc and this thing is gonna boogie. Even in terms of horsepower, this thing makes very little. I consulted the manual. It said it only makes about one and a half horsepower. Now, I think the regular Roven engines make uh, somewhere around three horsepower, so that alone is gonna be a big thing. In terms of the driving dynamics with the flipped gears, I'm going to keep it on how it is right now. I honestly don't mind the slightly lower torque response from a standing start. That's probably also because the clutch is a 6,000 RPM clutch now. Some people put in the 8K RPM clutch in here. I personally don't care. For me, I like the driving dynamics of this. Of course, if you're in a large open field, you're going to get embarrassed by even a micro RC truck. But in the areas where I drive it, it's good enough now. Yes, I'm basically almost always at full throttle, but the brakes are really good. The tires handle really well. It doesn't flip. I mean, the driving characteristics of this model, the Rampage series itself, are very, very good. The fact that this is the Rally uh, makes it look kind of cool, honestly, in my opinion, for the price that it is, about $600 you really still cannot go wrong. So you guys saw that I only got an extra two miles an hour from flipping the gears. Now the gears in this model are actually already fairly close in terms of their teeth count. So yeah, I didn't expect a lot of miles an hour difference. What you really need to do is get the gear set from the Red Cat Rampage MT, the one that's in this issue of the magazine. 
those have a much larger gap between the A and B gears. So when you flip them, you get a completely different gear ratio. So in the future, that is something I might do. Now, unfortunately, Red Cat as a brand, I'm gonna say it right now, um, their parts are ridiculously expensive. The gear sets are like 60 to $70 if you could even find them. I mean, guys, the gear set should not be, you know, almost 10% of the price of the whole RC. That, in my opinion, is ridiculous. Someone needs to really do something about that. Um, in terms of them stripping, they're solid. I haven't ruined anything at all. In my five months of ownership, nothing broke on this at all. I'm fairly content with the radio systems, the electronics, everything is stock other than, you know, I flipped the A and B gears. To me, it really doesn't matter. I don't like a lot of that low-end torque. The reason is it chews up your tires, guys. Now, yes, some guys stick in giant RC Max engines, 45cc this, that, it doesn't matter. Uh, but all that matters is how much power you can put down to the ground, your contact patch of the tire. And the tires on this one are still like new. And I've pretty much drifted this for, you know, about a gallon and a half worth of gas on pavement. And the tires still look fine. So I'm not complaining. Yes, maybe an 8,000 RPM clutch would be something that would be useful on this model in the future, but I think the main upgrade would possibly be the pipe to get a couple more RPM or a completely different engine. Now, I will say that this engine is extremely solid. It's reliable. The carb is a Walbro carb. Um, there's no issues with fuel pressure after, after, make sure you understand this, after I increase the size of the vent hole in the gas cap. Take a look at a couple of these clips of me driving around. <laughs> could tell that it bogs down a lot in fact it even shut off at the end of the run but no big deal being a nitro and gas RC guru here and watching boater gel for a lot of my advice when I first got into fit scale RC's I knew that you had to increase the size of the vent hole ever since I increased the size of the vent hole on the gas cap it hasn't bogged down it hasn't overheated it runs predictable it keeps the tune really well but as I said before you know the RPM it's all about the RPM it's really, really low. Does it have enough torque? Almost. Yeah, it's not that bad. But there it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure don't miss the first unboxing and live pickup of the Primal MT monster truck at the end of this month.